We have our pattern. Now it's time to start sawing wood. That's coming up right now. So always, hearing protection and eye protection. But the first step on this one is going to be to uh, test the uh, Gotta make sure what this is. Test the cut. Make sure it's the cut that I want. testing to see if it goes below this. Uh, that's our pattern right there. So it looks like it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish this all the way across. The, uh, one of the things I have also done is put in gradient lines because, um, and really I wish I'd done it on the other side, but um, I didn't. So I went ahead and brought this one up the same distance as that. This is the last little bit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll keep cutting pretty wide swaths here. The, uh, the uh, sander I have will take off a lot of uh, an awful lot of uh, this and so I'll try and go about a half inch at each cut and I'll end up probably going to about here and here's the uh, this jig I'm using I'm not going to film the whole thing this is just a, a router and the router does the rough cut this is what's called a uh, uh, and a site, or I guess it's a guide, and uh, the way that you adjust it is you find a, for example, right here, this, here's an edge, and I'll use this edge for all of these cuts, and uh, as I make more and more cuts, I'll see, uh, move this out, uh, you see that moves out. So for the next cut, I'll, I'll move it about a half an inch from the blade, and then make the next cut. So, and it'll, uh, I have an adjustment here, and I'll loosen this up, and I'll, I'll draw that, I'll draw the uh, blade back in. I don't have this unplugged right now. You should always never make any adjustments until, unless you have it uh, unplugged. But I'll uh, move this in. Whatever it moves in, about half an inch looks to be about. Um, if I take a half an inch, it goes up maybe a sixteenth or so. And uh, I'll measure that, and I'll just move this, and you see it has sixteenths over here marked. So I can uh, just make those adjustments that way. Uh, a little bit at a time. Um, 
<laughs> sawdust in the air. And I really am going to have, this room is going to need cleaning. <laughs> so, still fighting with that. Alright, so, um, here I have put this, I've uh, done this in grades. Got a little bit of a, it's not a sharp edge, but you can see I've done grades here. Um, it gets a tuck, uh, quite a few cuts. See the cut lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cuts. And uh, with each successive cut, of course you see in the whole thing I missed the I missed the the pattern. So which was what I wanted. I didn't want to cut any more wood than I needed to cut. And then uh, you can see uh, the rest of this can come off with um, with the angle grinder. Okay, I wasn't able to zoom in, so I just moved the camera a little closer. But you can see right here what it looks like, and the other side is very similar, except it's it's been angle ground, and uh, so this this uh, this is the technique I used right here. Just gotta do this side, and we'll be almost done. Of course, the the pattern I'm using is just just that. You see. With each successive cut, I just take the, uh, and you have to keep this piece flat on this part of the surface, right? And then you slide it while operating it. You slide it along there, and it'll cut. Uh, it'll it'll make a nice little. And right there, like I said, I was skinning it. In fact, here I completely missed it. And then uh, I've got the nice gradient over here that I wanted. I, I wish I had done it here. <laughs> as well but I didn't but uh, uh, what we have is um, I'm, I'm getting ready to cut this piece I've already cut a little bit right over here on this side and now I'm going to cut the other side and the uh, part that I have it's, it's a router bit that cuts corners and you can see what we have there and I've already kind of sort of uh, test it to see if it's going to make sure it's going to be in there and so you can kind of see where it's going to be. The only thing I want to do is I want to test it and make sure it's going to be where we think it is supposed to be. The line, alignment is tough. Okay. Eye protection. Uh, I don't anything and ear protection also very important alright so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assess and see where this is going to go make sure this is um, this is flat because that's a flat piece of wood there and then make sure that the blade is not touching when I bring it on and then I'm going to bring it in <coughs> that does is it tries to see how deep this is going to go. It looks like it's not going to go very deep at all. So I'm going to take it out to the end. Okay, so I can see it has uh, left a little bit of a, which is okay, where it's at. So I guess from here I'm just going to go ahead and make this cut. I've already made the same cut on the other side, so we're going to make this cut on this side now. cuts to make. This is the one bit and I want to unplug this because I don't want it to crank up. 
but you can see that this is our leading edge right here and that's uh that's the beginning so the next cut i'm going to make not the you know i just want to have about some router bits just making very sure that i have that out i'm going to have to So probably have to take the whole check out to get this bit out of here just because it's uh, it was in there pretty tight. didn't go in easily so it's not going to come out easily. Alright so there's there's the bit that I'm using. Here's what it looks like. Let's see if we can't. So this this should be a close-up. This is the bit that I was using. This is actually a 3 8 wide cut. And now I've got to get it out of this chuck here. So I'm going to set up with the next bit. The next bit uh, for cutting is going to be this one and we'll, we'll have to make a few cuts on this guy right here. There aren't too many things about making the wrong cut. There's, there are too many things that are worse than making the wrong cut, but one thing for sure, making the wrong cut is bad, but making the wrong cut too deeply and then the wrong direction is even worse. So, uh, so far we've been lucky. Let's not break this spell. Um, so the second bit is is um, already down the other side. You saw what it looked like. Here's what the second side looked like after the, the, the uh, first cut. And, and then we're ready to make the second uh, the cut, the same cut. Or the second cut, actually, on the second side. And for that I'm not going to put a hinge like that. Let's put that out there like that. And, uh, okay, so I'm just going to lock this down. And uh, since it was a good cut, I've decided to keep that uh, keep that setting. I'm just going to do it on the inside because it's such a pain in the neck uh, setting that up. As you can see, I have some cracks in the wood that are really getting worse. Uh, Okay, here's the setup. Uh, I never did bother to unplug it, but then as you can see, I'm not going to touch the blade. These blades can be pretty, uh, pretty deadly. I don't know how things are going to look with these goggles on me. Goggles and headsets, maybe if you don't follow any other uh, procedures. See, I might not be able to get back up inside there. No, that's in the way. That is in the way. Okay. So, uh, easy fix. Just bring this out a little bit further. Okay. Uh, so that one was a good cut. I'm going to take it the same. I'm going to take the same cut again. And I'll take it. Okay, so the first cut is to make sure it doesn't cut into the uh, basically making sure it doesn't cut into the the uh, um, pattern. All right, so lining this up. Remember to make sure that that piece is flat. Bring this up against it, but I'm not going to line it up. 
I'm not going to bring it up to it until it's running. <laughs> goggles and I've got glasses behind goggles and they're safety glasses so I have a double layer of protection and it's not wood although it could be wood if uh, that little blade flies apart it's metal and if you've ever been to the ophthalmologist to have a piece of metal removed from your eye you'll know that it's not a pleasant thing so uh, safety Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.